I'm going to do here today. Um, I'm going to explain to you guys uh, just exactly what the kind of this video means. You guys are reading it. Um, yeah, there probably in my mind is no other thing that I'm going to do for Um, I don't know if I'm officially going to make that the title of the video. I might even pick the title of the video somewhere in the future. But, so basically, guys. Yeah. Overwatch, if you guys don't know, I don't think it's as big as it was in the map. It's a, uh, I don't even know how much money it is now, but it was a game uh, made by Blizzard. It's a team shooter, capture, point pick shooter, and a hero based class and everything else. So everybody was free of it. It's kind of like Apex, but I don't know why it's not that right now. And more so the first person shooter, first person game, first person team deathmatch as well. Um, it was actually a pretty fun game. I used to play it a decent amount, and the reason why I think there is no better game than Overwatch, personally, was because that game, even if I don't know what my Overwatch copy currently is now, but you probably will find it, and I have PS Plus and shit, I would probably be playing that game non-stop, guys. I used to play Overwatch, even though I was like only like level 80, like hours a day man and it was one of those games where every single time every single time that I logged on to it after like a long period of time I would just invest literally my whole entire fucking year on that game uh, I love that game so much and there were so many youtubers that said the same shit that it was like some sort of weird internet drug of a video game that once you logged on to Overwatch, there was no coming out of the game for the rest of the night but until you were like fucking full out tired. I remember back in the grade, if you might not like going into the grade, back in the grade, um, you know, I was like going to Christmas time. I played Overwatch for the first time, I think, in like five or six months.
not really gaining the massive amount of viewers still as it is today. Which, if you guys don't know, twitch.tv slash Jesse A. Blink will be in the description down below. And also, my Discord link will also be down below. If you guys want to join the official Jesse Discord, Instagram, Twitter will be down below. Of course, feel free to comment and all that shit. Um, but, I mean, it's crazy, guys, what Overwatch impacted me every single fucking time I generally logged into that video game. It actually impacted me and made me lose the touch of reality between myself and others and whew, it's just a crazy crazy game for sure guys and yes i also uh added a fortnite clip in here because why not guys but i mean back to what i was saying here because i just decided to add a clip but um yeah though man overwatch is every time even right now i bet money on it if i logged on right now and this is an old gameplay by the way guys if you guys don't know this is from i think like season eight um, you know, my friend ZZJR's first ever win that he ever gotten before so um i'll put it in a nostalgia video but i'll put it in this video since you know you can actually hear me but anywho every time i logged in even now i bet if i logged in whew, the hours that would go into overwatch origins edition man would be insanity man it, this game like it's so boring thinking about the concept no matter what but once you log on get about first five games in you're like, this game's not that bad i'm gonna go play another one i'm gonna go play another one you just keep saying that right i lost the touch of reality every single time i logged on the game the only time i ever talk to people is if i got called or if i decided to call somebody <coughs> and actually <coughs> what's funny is I never called somebody to play because I had no friends back then to play Overwatch with at all. I always played by myself and, and quite frankly I enjoyed playing by myself as it was more fun for me. I mean occasionally I played with some internet people that had the game downloaded but I mean that was only on the occasion. So when I wasn't playing with them most of the time I was playing by myself with a bunch of regular players. And it honestly was an assload of fun, man. Just sitting down playing Overwatch Origins Edition with as many people as I can play with that are randoms and everything else. All the trolls. All the weird motherfuckers that you run into. All the people that generally make you think if they are insane or not insane. Yeah, like those type of motherfuckers. Like every single day, bro. I would log on all the time to play the game. I just remember very, very very vividly when I needed to get a birthday present and it was about it was exactly a month for my birthday actually that's what's funny it was, it was in July 9th, 2016 and I remember don't want to bring it to not actually but of course as of what happened to the guy but he is a pokey tuber yeah, that guy's fucked up in the head, man, but at the time, no one knew about it, really, but, um, him and a whole bunch of his friends were playing, and I would always see, and he played with T-Pain, too, that's so what's cool as well, and T-Pain's not too relevant anymore, but it was relevant, like, years upon years ago, so it was pretty cool, like, he played with him, um, but it was very interesting to, you know, sit down and watch him and he can play and everything else. And I, I like I saw a commercial for Overwatch content on TV and I think the game looks pretty cool looking. I, I might look into it. And that's what I think I'm looking into it. And then I think he goes by Vantage J now, Vantage J. But he used to be J like on YouTube. He made a video called Entitled where a lot of people had been entitled to free content that he was producing with his other PokeTuber friends who were playing Overwatch for eight hours on the, like their big night or some shit. So, and so he just made a rant about it, but he said that it was like an internet drug and his friends could not put the game Overwatch down for more than like five minutes, pretty much. Like it would be, wake up, get breakfast, get, get some game or food, log on to Overwatch, play and shit. Like it was that shit and I was like, So, that's another thing that pumps me to play the game a little bit more, and then of course, 
um, Etika World Network or Etika, whatever. You know, I mean, he, he had his little crazy moments, but you guys can't lie. Etika, the he had some, you know, maybe not as bad as him. People definitely do go through some shit that most people do. But I'm sidetracking from the conversation here. Um, not really conversation, but more so from the topic. But basically, you know, uh, he, I watched his, him stream the game, and then he made a video called Do Not Play Overwatch, and I was like, oh, it's probably just some negative feedback. Like, maybe this would change my thoughts on, you know, purchasing the game for myself, or, you know, getting it as a present. And he said do not play it, because the game's literally a fucking drug. Once you log on, you're hooked on. And I was like, I want to see this shit myself. And the last person that actually fully made me commit to, you know, getting it as my early birthday present. Because every year, or every other year, whenever it really is, I always get one early birthday present. So, I, you know, just, you know, I can get an early birthday present from my parents or family in general. And so, you know, it's always one early one, then I get the one exactly on the date of my birthday or at, like, you know, a mini family gathering. But... Um, I actually needed to, like, fully decide this. It was, like, a huge decision for myself, humongous decision. But another person who did fully convince me into getting it was Boogie2988. He said the same exact shit as all the other YouTubers. It was a highly addictive game, really fun to play, and the price tag on it, he said he thinks it was reasonable enough. But, so I was like, alright, dude. I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna go to this game. I know, just watch a little bit of the gameplay, you know, to get, just get a overall finalization if I wanted it, and it looks like it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to play this now, first game I played recently, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I played a really good game, and I keep on playing it, and I was just get home. If I was doing anything during the summer, usually I wasn't. I would usually just wake up and, you know, pop on Overwatch and just play the shit out of it all day long. I do that on the side of the closet. So yeah, like, unfortunately, fucking, I grew out of that game and then I just kept constantly revisiting it every here and then and shit like that, you know. Um, yeah, that was pretty weird. But don't you guys love that game? You're like, oh, and I got to play the game. Oh, cool. I just want to play the game. Oh, fun. You download that brand new game, you play it for like an hour or two. Next day later, you wake up and you just get that fresh video game feeling. I love that feeling, to be honest with you guys. Anyways, guys, peace out. Have a great night. Or